Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? All good. All good? Great. Yes. Muy bien. Good to hear. Okay, guys. Uh, today, we're going to continue with the topic, Ken versus Kent. Okay. Um, para empezar, quiero que ustedes sean honestos y me digan, pues, si tienen alguna pregunta con relación al tema que hemos estado viendo, el modal poder. Uh -huh. Gabriela, Larisa, Roger, Inora, Godofredo, Hugo. No, teacher. Hasta ahorita todo bien. Um, no, teacher. Ok, good. So, uh, let's continue then learning um, about this topic, Ken versus Ken. Let's make sure, vamos a asegurarnos de que ustedes uh, si sí sepan sobre esto, ok? Y quiero que todos participen. So, let's go with some questions, ok? Vamos a escuchar unos audios y solo el que quiera uh, participar o contestar enciende su micrófono, ok? Ok, so you will listen to the question. Listen to the possible answers, and we need to click the correct answer and collect the jewels, collection, collectar las gemas, okay? Las joyas, so pay attention. The question is, what can you do? What can you do? You see, you see the image? Yes. What is it? It's a witch in a... A witch. Okay, a witch in a broom, una bruja en una escoba, a witch in a broom. Okay, so, what can you do? First option, I can swim, I can speak English, I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. So, yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, what can you do? There's a guy speaking, saying hello, okay. I can speak English. I can run fast. I can read English. I can speak English. I can speak English. I can speak English, yeah, I can speak English. Speak, speak, speak. Speak, speak. speak. Okay, there's a guy with a book, tense. I can read English, I can fly, I can run fast. I can read a book. I can read English, I can read a book, yes. Totally right. Okay, there's a ballerina, there's a ballerina, a ballet ballerina, okay. I can dance. I can sing well. I can read English. I can dance. I can dance. I can dance. dance. I can dance. Very good. That's right. Oh. I can read English. I can dance. Which one is it? No se escuchó bien, teacher. Puede repetir, por favor. Okay. The options are I can dance. I can read English. I can run fast. I can run fast. I can, I can run, run fast. fast. Very good. Okay. Do. I can roll a bike and ride a bike. I can ride a bike. I can run well. I can swim. I can, I can, I can swim. swim. I can swim. That's right. What can you do? I can sing well. I can make a sand castle. Hmm. I can draw well. Okay. What is it? I can draw. I can draw very well. I can draw. I can draw well. Draw. 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 Okay. There's a lady with a laptop and she's typing. Okay. Okay. I can swim, I can use a computer, I can draw well. 
I can I use can the computer. Use the computer. Yeah. Perfect. Very good. That's right. Okay. There's a piano man. A piano man. I can dance. I can play the piano. I can run fast. I can, I can play, play the piano. piano. I can play the piano. Totally. Last one. What can you do? I can read English. I can fly. I can write my name. I can read English. Read English? Yes. Read. I can write my name. Write my name. Write. 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 Listen. Write my name. Yeah. Write. Write my name. Write my name. Write my name. That's right, guys. Very good. You got 30 points. Great job. Simple. We'll send you this link later, okay? Yo les envío el link después para que ustedes puedan seguir practicando, ¿ok? Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. okay, let's move on. So, Tom, this is you. So, that's about Ken versus Kent. Then we had a knowledge check. Okay, Gabriela is talking about things she can and can't do. So, you were supposed to complete the sentences following the example okay so let's go one by one uh the first one i can't draw <laughs> definitely she can draw okay i can draw okay what will this one be i can act i can oh okay i can act okay can she sing I can't I can't sing. I can't sing. I can't sing. Very good. Mm -hmm. I can't fix cars. I can't fix cars. I can't fix cars. I can't play tennis. I can't play tennis. Or can't. No, can. I can't. I can. can. I can. No, can. Can. I can. 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 Can play tennis. Great. Can play tennis. Okay. Next. I. I can't. I can skate very, well. very well. I skate very well. Can't I skate very well? I can I skate very well. Okay. I skate. I skate. Okay. This is possible. I can, I can play, 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 play the piano. Last one. I can. I can. Can, can, can play the piano. No. I can't cook or roll. No. Can. Can. I can't cook I can't. Can't. Look, Gabriela. I can't cook at all. I can't cook at all. Cook at all. Cook at all. Can. Oh, at all. Okay, I can't cook at all. Very good. So if that's what they want, what? Okay, where's the mistake? Can't? Uh, will it be can then? Can. Yeah, I can't play tennis. No, okay, you can. Good. So that's the right. Okay. Good, guys. Uh, let's go with the next topic, which will be. At the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents. Let's learn how to discuss about different abilities and talents. Habilidades y talentos. Okay? Eh, les estoy poniendo en silencio a todos para que todos podamos escuchar. Good. Okay. No se escucha, teacher.
car. Fix a motorcycle. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents. Let's get started by listening to some common abilities and talents. Word power. Musical or artistic. Paint pictures. Play the violin. Sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Other. Bake a cake. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Now I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, categorize these activities using the categories musical or artistic, athletic, other, technical or mechanical. Uh, just like you see on the example, other, bake a cake. Then I would like for you to use the vocabulary and relate it to yourself, a family member, or a friend. For example, I can fix a car, but I can't fix a motorcycle. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so is the activity clear? For example, I can tell you. Hmm. I can sing, but I can't act. I can sing, but I can't act. Okay. I can run, but I can't jump. For example, what is that? If I say I can run, but I can't jump, that would be athletic. Athletic. Look at. Ah. Athletic, athletic, okay? So, okay, what else? Uh, I can play the guitar, uh, but I can't sing. I can play the guitar, but I can't sing. Mm -hmm. Artistic. Yeah, musical or artistic, very good. Okay, I can repair, um, I can repair my car, but I can't repair the TV. Uh, mechanical? Te technical. Technical or mechanical? Or mechanical, very good. Or mechanical. Okay. This, this is that, you know, it's very simple. I can paint the house, but I can't uh, cook. I can paint the house, but I can cook. Other? Other, you got it. Ok, si sí, lo entendieron, very good. Uh, eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Los voy a dividir rapidito, somos pocos hoy, el día de hoy. We are 10. No sé qué habrá sido de María, mi asistente. She went away. Anyways, ok. So I'll split the group and we will practice really quick, ok? So let's split okay. the group. Ok, three groups. ¿Qué tal, Edwin? ¿Qué tal, Ari? Al fin, ya en la última clase, ¿va? Acabada la última clase, lo encontramos de nuevo. Bye. Íbamos como a formar oraciones, algo así, ¿verdad? De lo que podíamos hacer y que no. Uh -huh. And classify them. Classify them between what is technical, what is artistical, musical. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, other okay. Okay. okay, so think about your okay. I can sing here in the bedroom. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> but, okay, I can sing in the bedroom, but but okay, uh -huh. okay, si puedo cantar en el baño, pero. 
I can't, pero no puedo. Oh. Oh, ok, I can't uh, the dance. I can the dance. Ok, I can sing the violin, but I can't dance. Very good. I will say I can sing in the bathroom, but I can't sing in public. Yeah. <laughs> Is that mechanical or other, Larissa, Gabriela? I can bake a cake, but I can't fix a car. It was musical, right? A musical or artistic. Okay. I can bake a cake. <laughs> okay. I can bake a cake, but I can't fix a car. Okay. Gabriela? It's mechanical. It's mechanical, right? Other and mechanical. Okay, good. What about your example? I, I can't sing English English song, but I can sing a Spanish song. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's a nice one. Okay, so, and that's artistical, right? You can sing, you better say, I can sing English songs, but not Spanish songs, okay? I can't sing Spanish songs, okay? Continue, keep going, more examples, okay? Keep going. Very good. Um, yo diría, I can't play chess. chess. Be, but I can't see English songs. <laughs> English songs, okay. And is that mechanical or? What kind of ability is that? Um, Musical or artistical, athletic, technical or? Con. Estábamos practicando, no le hemos este, puesto todavía en los cuadritos. Ah, ok. Ahorita. Sería... Uh, fix a car sería cuestiones de... Técnica. ¿Mm? Technical abilities, ok, yes. That would be technical abilities. Eh... Luego, play the violin, también sería una cuestión musical. It's a musical, yeah. Musical talent, musical ability. Sí, English song, sería musical o artistic. Uh -huh. Do gymnastic, sería athletic. Athletic, very good. Keep going, uh, examples. What you can do versus what you cannot do. Sería como hacernos las oraciones, teacher. Por ejemplo, I can violin, but I can guitar. I can play the violin, but not the guitar. Can... Okay. Excellent. Okay. okay. Um, I, for example, I can drive a car. I can't. ¿Cómo se diría? Fix a car. Can you fix a car? Yeah, I can fix a car. Mm -hmm. I can't fix a, I can't fix a, a car. I can't fix a car. Perfect. Remember, mm -hmm. after can, you have the base verb, right? So I can't fix. Um, I sería, I can't write a horse. I can write. But, write. Ride a horse, horse, but I can't surf. Sir, sir, very good. Sure. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Dinora. Perdón, que no había mucho. Este, por ejemplo, en el deporte, digamos, I can play basketball, but I can't play soccer. <laughs> As simple as that. That's very simple. You have to continue giving more examples. Make questions to your classmates. Hey, what can you do? What you what can't you do? 
Ojo, what can you do? What can't you do? ¿Qué puedes hacer? ¿Qué no puedes hacer? ¿Ok? What can you do? Ok, keep going. More examples. More examples. Ok. Let me see. I can... I can drive a car, but I can drive a microbus. <laughs> okay. Um, what is that? A small bus? A minivan? I can drive a minivan. A minivan. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can play the guitar, mm -hmm. but I can't play the violin. Excellent, very good. One more? I can fix a laptop, but I can fix a, a car. Excellent, very good. Okay. okay, keep going over here. Just keep going with the examples. Okay. I can swim. But I can surf. Okay, surf, surf. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, teacher, ¿cómo se, cómo, uh, how do you say in English hornear? Uh, bueno, pavo, por digamos. Okay, you have to. You put something in the oven, you have to bake, bake. Bake. Yeah, B A K E. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I can I can cook, but I can bake. Cook, okay. Cook, cook. Mm -hmm. cook, cook. Okay. I can ride a car, but I can ride a motorcycle. Oh, okay. I, you can drive a car. Ride a car. Yes. And ride a motorcycle. Right. Ride a motorcycle. Okay. Drive for cars, ride for motorcycles. Mm -hmm. um, I can play a, a guitar, but I can sing. Mm -hmm. Yep, as simple as that, guys. That's very simple. Okay, let's go back to our main session, okay? Okay. okay. Okay, so we're back. Teacher, I have a question. Please. Um, for example, um, in the question, what can you do is como general. Um, pero por ejemplo, en español, si yo quiero preguntar qué puedo yo hacer, pero ya en específico, por ejemplo, cocinar. What can, podría ser what can to cook you do. O, o no sé, ahí me quedó esa duda. Mm -hmm. Ok, what can you cook? ¿Qué puedes cocinar? What can you cook? Ah, ok. What can you cook? Y así me imagino que igual con todo, sería, digamos, el tú ya no se puede ocupar en eso porque el verbo va en su forma original, no. ¿El tú? No, el tú. What can to cook o to da o... Correcto. Eh, sí, después del, del auxiliar, en este caso del modal can, eh, no se puede aplicar el tú antes del verbo, ni la ing con el verbo. Sino que en su hace okay. correcto. Yacme. Buena pregunta. Okay. What can you say? What can you say? ¿Qué puedes decir? What can you say? Mm -hmm. Give me another example. More examples. Uh, what can you sing? What can you sing? Can you sing rancheras? Can you sing reggaeton, Gabriela? Yeah. Perreo, sus suintes. Okay. Uh, salsa? What can you sing? Ok. 
Okay. Another. Okay, what can we do? That's an expression. What can we do? What can we do? ¿Qué podemos hacer? Right? What can we do? More examples. Come on, guys. Quiero que piensen en ejemplos así como fuera de lo, de lo gramatical, ¿no? Expresiones. Como I can eat pupusas. I can eat pupusas. Very good. Okay. You can't eat pupusas. You can or you can't? Can't. Okay. Listen, I can help it. Sería como no puedo ayudarte. No. <laughs> no. I can't help it. Es sinónimo de I can't take it anymore. Es sinónimo de ya no, ya no lo aguanto. I can, I can help it es en un sentido positivo. Eh, vamos, uh, por ejemplo, tú lo ves comiendo 10 chocolates y con toda la cara llena de chocolate. Te digo, I can help it. I can help it. ¿Sí? No lo puedo controlar. Ese es el significado de esa expresión. I can help it. I can help it. Ok. Eh, ¿Te dan ganas de besar mucho a tu mamá? Sorry, I can help it. No, 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 no puedo soportar. Tengo que abrazarte, abrazarte, mami. Ok. I can take it anymore. Tenés al vecino de la par escuchando mucho perreo, todo volumen. ¿Sí? Y va mezclando, ya. va poniendo perreo, después salsa, después música religiosa. De todo volumen, todo el día. Ay, qué horrible. Y en un punto en que vos dices, I can't take it anymore. Tenemos los mismos vecinos. <risa> Sin broma, me dan ganas de cortarle la luz. <risa> no, aquí, gracias a Dios, no pasa eso. Ok. Uh, next one. I can't. Can. I can't. Es otra manera de decirlo. I can stand it. Eso de I can take it anymore. I can stand it. Ok. I can deal with this. No puedo lidiar con esta situación. I can deal with this. I can deal with this. No puedo lidiar con esto. I can deal with this. I can deal with this. Okay. ¿Cómo diría no puedo explicártelo? I can explain you. 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 Okay, ahí dijimos no, no te puedo explicar. Estoy diciendo ahí, no te puedo explicar. Si yo quisiese decir, Gabriela, no te lo puedo explicar, no te lo puedo explicar. Ojo con esto, eh, Jacqueline. So, estoy diciendo, I can explain you, no te puedo explicar. No te puedo explicar. ¿Cómo diría no te lo puedo explicar? Es el lo. I can, I can explain to you. Uh, ¿No cambiaste? I can explain to you. Falta algo ahí. Te voy llegando. Very good. Pensaba, una situación, un objeto. ¿Qué, qué pronombre o objeto conoces? Is. It. This. It. This. It. This. It. 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 Okay. Um, it. Y sí, ya te lo también. This. I can explain it to you. I can explain it to you. I can explain this to you. No te lo puedo explicar. No puedo explicarte esto a ti. Ok. Well, think about other examples. ¿Alguna expresión que tú estás con poder? Uh, who can 
spell that? Who can spell that? Good expression. Who can spell that? Okay. Who can spell that? Okay. Okay, can you bear 50 pounds? Uh, yeah, can you bear 100 pounds? Hey, Ugo, can you bear 100 pounds? Mm, I don't want to, sir. <laughs> can you bear 100 pounds? Okay, el verbo bear como nombre, ojo, significa oso, ¿verdad? Pero como verbo significa soportar. So, can you bear 100 pounds, Ugo? Mm. I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Oh my God. Good. That's good. Okay. Any other? Uh, I, I can eat the pupusas. I can. I can't. Eat pupusas. Pupusas. Okay. I can eat pupusas. I can't eat pupusas. And so on. Very simple, guys. Esto es muy sencillo de hacer. Okay. I can't stand it anymore. I can't. Oh. Uh, I can send it anymore. I can take it anymore. I can deal with this. Um, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. It's just an expression we use in English. I mean, you can do it. Very good. Okay. Quieres pedirle a alguien que te ayude como lo harías? Puedes ayudarme. Can you help me? Okay, yeah, help me. Okay, or can you... I was about to say something else. Can you help me with this? Can you... I forgot what I... Okay. Can you help me? Can you help me? Can... Can you give me a hand? Yeah. Can you give me a hand? Puedes darme la mano? Estoy viendo por mis tareas. So, no questions with this topic? ¿Alguna pregunta con ese tema? No? Okay. Somebody tell me or show me your homework. ¿Alguien me puede enseñar si estaba haciendo la tarea de un verbo y aplicar lo que vamos viendo? ¿Anybody? No. Doing lines. Hacer líneas. ¿Tiene una negativa pregunta? ¿No? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ok. To, to, to break. Teacher. Yes. Te fallamos, teacher. <laughs> Oh, that's not. You know, teacher. Uh, my uh, teacher, este, y una de question, y ahí se puede mezclar uh, dos verbos a la vez. For example. Sí. Please. Uh, por lo menos, uh, I can, I can help. Play. Uh, I can play basketball. The solution is to un verbo. I mean, I can play basketball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero, algún ejemplo, teacher, donde se puedan conjugar dos verbos a la vez. Okay. Ahí mismo. Vamos a ocupar el sujeto a woman. Okay. O más bien, pluralicemos, no necesitamos un artículo. Okay. Woman, women, I'm sorry, women can cook, listen to music, and clothes, and watch, oh well, still more, watch TV. Oh. And talk on the phone. 
all at the same time. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> sí, Edwin, se puede, pero tenés que ocupar eh, una manera de separar los verbos. No puedes... Ok. Verbos a la misma vez. No. Tiempo, en el mismo tiempo gramatical, dos verbos bajo el mismo tiempo gramatical. No. Ah, ok. Hay que separarlos. En este caso, el ejemplo que te estoy dando es el listar los verbos. El listar las acciones. Un verbo es una acción. Ok. Y una, okay. una mujer puede hacer esto. Women can cook, listen to music, iron clothes, watch TV and talk on the phone at the same time. Todo eso lo pueden estar haciendo en un tiempo. Y no se les quema la ropa, no se les quema la comida. No pierden el hilo de la conversación, ni de la televisión, ni de la música. Y todavía bailan. Okay. Pero, pero cuando llueve, gritan que van a entrar la ropa, así que no cuentan. <risa> <risa> ok. Bien. Just kidding. Ok, so. Vamos a hacer un juego súper rápido. Vamos a crear un debate. Ok. Women versus men. Ok. Um, things, so I want you to think about things that um, men can do versus things um, women, women can do. So who's better? Who is better? Okay, who's better? Men versus women. So, ¿quién rompe el hielo? Who starts? Women, men? Uh, how do you say in English? Tener un hijo, parir, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, le toca un hombre. So, ya rompe el hielo. Okay, so you can. Con eso le ganamos a todos los hombres. Yes. <laughs> okay. Women, women can give birth. Women can give birth. Okay. Men. Podemos seguir las reglas que puso José allá. Women can give birth, but men. Uh -huh. Un hombre, Roger, somebody. Defiéndanos, defiéndanos. But men, but men can fix a, a car. Comparado con tener hijos, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> sí, no well, woman can to fix a car. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Women can fix cars. Okay, wait, two. Women can fix cars too. But, vamos hombres. Hey, casi no hay hombres en el grupo que andan. Ay, Dios. Si hay, bueno, Fredo, Hugo, Henry. Guys. La fuerza, la fuerza. May the force be with you. Ya le iba a ser así. Okay. Uh -huh. Women can fix cars too, but men, come on men, what can we do? Es que realmente, teacher, con esa primera nos dejaron. Espera, de juego. Nos dejaron, teacher. Nos pusieron ahí. Pues no podemos, ahí nos pusieron el pie como aquí en la nuca y un solo. Ok. Ay, ayúdenos ahí, teacher. Ok. But men can live 200 pounds. Ok. Women can fix cars, but men li lift. I'm sorry, but men can lift 200 pounds. Pero los hombres pueden levantar 200 libras. Hmm. Ok. Come on, continue. Jacqueline. Women. Women bake a cake. Okay, women. Men bake a cake. Uh huh. Men. Uh -huh. uh, 
the man, uh, the cut, the, the parrillada, como hay, dice. Okay. Uh -huh. You can cook barbecue. Okay. Forget that spelling, hold on. Barbecue. Barbecue. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Women can decorate a party. Party? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Women can decorate. Uh, men sing, sing tenor. Women can sing what? Tenor? Sing tenor. Okay. Good. Women. Vamos a aplicar algo más. Las mujeres pueden ser. Okay. Women. And B, ahora agregarle un adjetivo. Chicas. Strong. Okay, women can be strong. Beautiful. Está <laughs> <laughs> so, bueno, women can be strong. Pero los hombres qué? Uh, the men can be pilot of the ship. Pilot of the ship. Uh, relación. Ship. Uh, pilot of the ship. Uh, of the ship. Of the ship. Formula uno. The pilot of the ship. Okay. Las mujeres pueden ser fuertes, pero el hombre puede ser el piloto de la nave. Mm, un sentido figurado, ser los jefes de la casa. Pero, okay. Vayan a estar... So women can be strong, but men can be. I was, I was expecting, estaba esperando que dijeran algo más. Vamos a usar chicos, adjetivos. But men can be. Handsome. Okay. Or tender, caring, or tender. Okay. So women, women strong, but men tender. Es decir, siempre le llegamos el corazón. Somos cariñosos, okay. A ver, otro adjetivo, women can be. Women can be. Tóxicas, teacher, tóxicas, somos tóxicas. Okay, we talk. <laughs> okay. That's full. Okay. Women can be tough, but men can be trusted. Las mujeres pueden ser tough, pero el hombre puede ser eh, confiado. Okay. It's uh -huh. affected. Okay, one more. Just one more. Woman. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Las mujeres pueden ser increíbles, but men can be, pero los hombres pueden ser. Uh -huh. How do you say uh, detallista in English? Ok, detail oriented. Ok. Detail oriented. Are you detail oriented? Yeah. That's okay. So women can be wonderful, but men can be detail oriented, and that's very important too. Always. Okay, very good. Siempre acuerdo, ¿cierto? También podemos haber ocupado negativas. Women can't. Women can't dance, but men can cook. Well, pues, women can cook, but men can dance. Okay. 
Bien. Good, guys. Um, any questions? Questions with this? Can, can't, no? Recordar, no. antes de que terminemos la clase, vamos a quedar tiempo. Eh, recordarles que, por favor, terminen las, um, los ejercicios de la plataforma. Es muy importante. Y si tienen alguna duda, pues escríbanme y yo les ayudo, ¿ok? Ok. We're still um, teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, mañana haríamos el examen, ¿verdad? O... Sí, mañana vamos a, a hacer juntos los exámenes finales. Vamos a cubrir este tema. Vamos a empezar desde hoy con este tema final. So, uh -huh. and then tomorrow we will do the uh, final. Ok. The final ones. Ok. So, let's go with this part. Um, Royer, help me. Yes. Um... Wait a minute. Uh, by the end of this class, you will you will read and discuss an article about for unique, no unique American. Um, I don't know. Como se, como se races. Races. <laughs> you will also develop a, a skills and in reading for a specific information. Very good, Roger. Also, also, also. Okay, you will also develop okay. skills in reading for specific information. Great job. Okay, let's go with the reading, okay? Let's see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take eight or ten days to race across America, from Irvine, California, to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For eight to ten days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest Downriver Race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Wow, that was impressive. The US. I will say, muy impresionante, la verdad. Okay. Questions? Any new words? Algunas palabras nuevas? No. Hello. No me dejen solo, por favor. Se siente bien. What is that? Climb. 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 Escalar, bro. Very good. Climb. Escalar. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building. In the Empire State Building run-up. En la carrera, run-up. Una carrera en vertical, es decir, tenés que subir en carrera. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, teacher, uh, what is the meaning of the down river? Es como... Down river. Down river. Uh, down river. 
Una carrera, río abajo. Very good. Down river. Río abajo. Okay. ¿Sí? Opuesto sería up river race. Up river race. Sería una palabra compuesta. Quienes okay. hacen carrera cuesta arriba o río arriba son los salmones. Si no lo han visto en el Discovery Channel. They do, uh, sí. Yeah, they do races up with. Uh -huh. Okay. Any anything else? The climb is a thousand fifty feet or three hundred and twenty meters. Eighty six floors, ochenta y seis pisos, or one thousand five hundred and seventy five steps. Okay. Winners can reach the top in just ten to eleven minutes. Can you? Ojo con esa pregunta. Can you? Otra expresión en inglés que se puede ocupar muchísimo por lo mismo, no del poder. Can you? ¿Puedes? Jugando, ¿verdad? ¿Puedes? Can you? Ok. Good. Uh, take eight or ten days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. Okay. Cross the United, the entire U.S. Cross the entire U.S. U.S. in this 2,900 mile or 400, I'm sorry, 4,667 kilometer bicycle race. Wow. In this race, there are no timeouts. What is timeouts? It's a timeout. Okay, so tiempo fuera. Yes, tiempo fuera. Timeout okay. for sleep. For eight to ten days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Can you imagine only three hours every day to sleep? That's crazy. Okay. Any other new word? Otras palabras nuevas? Alcanzan a ver la imagen? Yes. 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 Um, en el último párrafo eh, de esa que dice ancho, ancho, anchoraje. <laughs> Anchorage. Good. Una, Anchorage. Sí, una um, habilidad que sería bueno adquirir siempre es identificar nombres propios en inglés. Uh, por ejemplo, the, I, escuché y lo, lo repetí cuando lo dijo. I, I, I data road, I data road, you know, sled dog race. A race from downtown. Anchorage, o sea, del centro de Anchorage, que es una ciudad de Alaska, to Nom, Nom, que es otra ciudad de Alaska. From Anchorage to Nom. Yep. Okay. Very good. ¿Cómo haces eso, eh, Roger? Uh, pues lo investigas, ¿no? Podrías incluso ocupar un mapa. Sí. Oh, okay. Cities. This is like general knowledge. Eso es como eh, conocimiento general. Y pues, así de fácil. Yeah. Okay, you, teacher. Uh, just open it and try to get acquainted. Te tratas de familiarizar con esto. Eh, Olympia, Portland, Salem, Boston. La mayoría se leen igual. Albany, Buffalo, Jacksonville, Orlando. Este, por ejemplo. Cuando trabajé en la aerolínea, créeme que me tocó aprenderme los nombres a la fuerza. Este, for Lauderdale, for Lauderdale. Hay un aeropuerto que se llama así, for Lauderdale, ahí en Florida. O en Florida, muy bien, Florida. Hasta eso, las direcciones, todo es muy importante. Es como cultura general, chicos, ¿ok? So, uh, please go here, study this lesson, because tomorrow... Vamos a revisar rápido esto y luego vamos a movernos al examen final, ¿ok? I'll see you tomorrow. Ok. Aquí hay un knowledge test que vamos a realizar mañana después de releer esa historia poco a poco to understand your comprehension, ¿ok? Ok. Good.
See you tomorrow. Please have a good night. Good tomorrow, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.